Do you mark reckless? I thank the Cabinet Secretary for his um, uh, statement. I, I note, note him saying this new tax will be broadly consistent with the existing landfill tax, which will provide stability and reassurance to businesses and minimise the risk of waste tourism. Uh, I wasn't familiar with that final uh, concept before today, um, but I welcome the overall uh, approach. Uh, it's a similar approach to what he has shown in the land transactions tax uh, bill, which I've uh, enjoyed getting to grips with in the Finance Committee. I think David Melding said that the bill would not be bedtime reading. Perhaps we could extend an invitation to join the Finance Committee, where, given the recent size of uh, committee papers, it has uh, intruded uh, quite deep into the evening of, uh, of, of, of members. Um, the, well, um, the, 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 the sort of approach my party has taken to tax devolution is both uh, the tax he makes a statement about today and land transaction tax. They were in the St David's Day uh, agreement and... Uh, we accepted that as what we would hope would be the uh, devolution uh, settlement. Uh, we're perhaps less optimistic it will be any sort of settlement now, but we do support this uh, tax as well as the land transactions tax. Our concern is with the uh, devolution of income tax without the referendum that's promised uh, or the perception in some quarters that this second tax will be uh, just one of a further series that will be uh, buses uh, quickly uh, following on, uh, which we would have uh, concerns uh, about. The uh, arrangement that he's going to have in this tax, which is not there in the uh, current uh, UK or at least England and Wales version, um, of the tax applying to I I illegal or at least unregistered <coughs> disposal of waste, can he say whether the intention there is to uh, make enforcement more effective through uh, potentially a, a lower uh, standard of proof, I assume, on balance of probabilities for assessing whether the tax is required and can that help compared to the current criminal uh, sanctions. I, I wonder whether I could also ask him, I, I understand he doesn't want to talk about what, what rate he's planning to, to set at until at least next autumn, but I wonder if he could say a bit more about the overall emphasis he wants to give to this tax in the, the battery of measures that are available. We have the percentage targets for recycling, and these have been quite blunt measures. The case of uh, Newport uh, comes to mind and is my region where the overall recycling rate is, is low, but at least almost all that recycling actually is recycled, where the proportion of higher recycling rates for some other authorities actually doesn't get re recycled, doesn't really seem to get picked up in that measure, but might, the, the, this tax might bite uh, on it. Does he intend to to, to, to use it in, in, in that sense. And, and second, going back to the ugly phrase of waste tourism, what does he really mean by that? There is you know, clearly availability of sites within Wales and availability of land site, fill sites I, I, in England, and there's varying pr productions from different centres of rubbish which needs to be uh, disposed of potentially in that way. Is he saying that he doesn't want to see any waste coming in from England to Wales, or he doesn't want to see more waste going uh, from England to Wales than uh, currently? Is he considering uh, potentially setting a higher rate in order to discourage such what he might call uh, waste tor to, uh, to tourism? Uh, or, or does he see is there any uh, the financial benefit to the, uh, uh, him, him as a Cabinet Secretary raising this finance, were he to set a lower rate, does he believe that would lead to uh, an increase in the revenue coming in because of uh, such so-called waste tourism? Uh, thank you, uh, Dipper, and thank the member for those questions. To address the last one uh, first, it, it's, it, waste tourism uh, is an inelegant phrase. It's uh, used to cover the circumstances that Mike Hedges uh, referred to, and it's that the research shows that um, people taking waste to landfill are relatively sensitive to relatively small changes in the rate of tax uh, to be paid. And what I'm keen to avoid is waste being taken uh, on long journeys to more distant places than it otherwise would have been by creating disincentives in the tax system or incentives in the tax system. So my aim will be uh, not to introduce a new 
factor into the calculations that people currently make as to where they dispose of landfill uh, waste. I would not want to see our tax system creating a whole different set of environmental uh, difficulties, and we'll be uh, very uh, alert to that. Um, the member asked what the, um, the, the key sort of policy drivers behind the, uh, the Act, uh, the Bill, turn out uh, to be. Although this is a diminishing tax as far as the Bill is concerned, it still was intended to raise £40 million uh, in a year. Uh, and as Finance Minister, I haven't got £40 million uh, pounds to fill um, the hole that would be left if we didn't take action to raise that money here in Wales. So there is an important purpose behind the Bill in securing revenue for public services uh, in Wales, but there is at the same time that very important alignment with environmental uh, policy, where our policy is, as uh, quickly as we are able to do it, to reduce and then eliminate the use of landfill uh, for waste uh, disposal. Um, the, finally, the question that the member asked about unauthorised disposals and the balance of uh, proof that will be used uh, in this uh, area. Now, the WRA already will have uh, civil powers of investigation as part of any tax uh, inquiry, but I signalled uh, in my statement uh, my intention to consult uh, in the spring on the criminal powers of investigation that the Tax Collection and Management uh, Act enables Welsh ministers to confer on the Welsh Revenue uh, Authority. Uh, this is to be done through secondary legislation. Uh, I think we need to be, uh, take a proportionate uh, approach uh, in that, but it will be my intention uh, to bring proposals in front of the National Assembly for scrutiny.